It is official. The Iranian people have officially divorced their Islamic government. When did it happen? It happened in the last election. Let me explain. The relationship between the people of Iran and Islam and their Islamic rulers is just like a marriage. Pre-79, there was romance. The people of Iran were saying, oh, Islam is great. These Islamic rulers and these Islamic leaders, they love us more than Shah does, more than anybody else does. So there was a romance there. In 79, when 98 8% of Iranians voted, they said, we want Islamic government. That's where the marriage certificate, the marriage co contract was signed. And Iran became officially an Islamic nation. The people of Iran said, officially, we belong to you. We belong to our Islamic rulers and leaders. Now, after 79, over the last 40 years, the people of Iran have waken up to this new husband and said, Oh my gosh, this husband is not what I thought he would be. He is not loving. He is selfish. He is cruel. He makes a lot of money. He is rich, but he doesn't spend the money for us. We are going hungry. And if we protest, if we speak up, he is cruel. He beats us up. Our children are going hungry and he doesn't care. He is not the husband that he said he is going to be. And he is abusive and he's selfish. So over the last 40 years, gradually, the people of Iran started questioning Islam and the Islamic rulers and leaders. And that's kind of like that husband, who is that? And do I really want that? The last two years, in 2019, I call it an emotional divorce. After the government of Iran killed over 1,500 people on the streets, I see that people of Iran just sit uh, in their heart, I don't want this husband anymore. I made a mistake. I made a mistake in 79 when I signed that marriage contract. I have made a mistake. And recently, in the election this year, that divorce in their heart, an emotional divorce, became official. When they did not show up to vote, they were saying, it was all over the place, they were saying, the people of Iran, by not, not voting, we are voting against the government of Iran. By not voting, we are saying we do not want the Islamic government. So it was like a vote. It was an official. Just like 79, they voted to be an Islamic. In 2021, they voted that we do not want an Islamic nation. And we, don't, we do not want an Islamic government. So what's happening now? The Iranian people are now just like a divorced woman. They are hurt. They are very skeptical about any new husband that may pursue them, including Christianity, they are saying, is there any other option? They are divorced, they're single, and they're looking. They're looking, but they're skeptical. It is your job and our job to introduce to them the best husband in the world. As God says, I am your, not only your father, you are my bride. I am your husband. In the Old Testament, we see that. In the New Testament, we see that Jesus says, you are my bride. May I ask you, would you join us? Would you join us to introduce this single-looking people of Iran looking for new God, new husbands to commit to? They're skeptical. It says, is that, is that uh, is going to be bad or good? But it's your job and our job to introduce the loving God to them who can be the best father, the best husband for the people of Iran. Would you help us to make Iran a beautiful bride for our Lord Jesus Christ?